Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing an uh, affordable Valentine's Day look as promised because this was a request. Now, um, this is actually, does you don't have to use the actual brand, you can use any other color. Um, but you can just, I'm going to skip the primer for now and um, I'm going to be just starting to go on with an eyeshadow today. So, first, it's not the exact color, but this is the closest that I can find. So this is what I found. Um, I'm going to be using my Lancome's good old purple eyeshadow there. It's really nice. Um, you want to use your finger for this one, not a brush. Just using my ring finger. And you just want to put it all over your eyelid. And it doesn't really matter if it's messy right now because we're going to be doing another color. And I'm going to do... Probably the light looks better on this. I don't know. I have horrible lighting. I have to get some kind, something that looks better. So you just want as much as your finger can carry right now. That's how it should look. Just a little purple on your eyeshadow. I mean on your eyelid. <laughs> I'm tired today. And then we're going to be taking any kind of crease brush. And just take any... Dark, dark chocolate brown that looks like this right there. Just use that, or you you can mix it with a beige like I have here to make it ni look nicer, like a beige and then a brown there. Hold on, that looks better. So yeah, that does look better. Okay, so you want a beige and a dark brown, and then just mix that together, or you could just use a dark brown. Doesn't really matter. And just put your pinky on your cheek, and then just start to blend right into the crease just like that and you want to make this note very noticeable Arr, this lighting I'm telling you I'm so sorry if the lighting is absolutely horrible it's just that you know now this I'm very upset about this brown because it doesn't show that much actually when I put it on unless if I take a whole bunch and just you know like, just like that but if it's affordable, then yeah, you can just use drugstore products. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just kind of blotching it in right into the crease. Just like that. Now, we're going to be taking a kind of like a highlighter. Or you could just use the lightest color that you can have. Um, I'm using a white eyeshadow from Lancome, just a plain old white, doesn't really matter. Um, you know, I'm going to use my finger for this one. And you just want to put it on your eyebrow bone, just like this. See, it just gives like a little pretty sheen to it. It makes it look really nice. Now, you may not see it right, actually in the video, but if you actually do it and see it for yourself, then I tr promise you it will look really pretty purple brown and like a wine kind of color you should use not exactly my color but a little bit darker than that and it would look really gorgeous okay now we're going to be taking an eyeliner and you just want to um put it along the lash line now i'm doing surprise right after this one it's going to look really it's very cutesy very cutesy It will make it as thin as possible. Grr. Okay, now for the fun part. We're taking a liquid liner. It's very fun. Now, see, my, my Lancome thing broke. The zipper kind of broke, so I can't open it all the way. So I have to just kind of search for it until I find it. I hope I didn't leave it in my purse when I gone out. Urgh. Not you. Sorry if I'm taking forever. Oh. 
Okay, I did something very weird right now. I just left my liquid liner in my purse when I got out to the shopping mall last week and I did something that's really stupid. So, you know what I'm gonna do, substitute it. It will look much better with liquid liner, but since I'm not prepared and I did this and I wasn't thinking, you just wanna make us a very, very thin line right on the lash line. And then you're gonna see what happens. It's really pretty. Doesn't work as better as a liquid liner. Okay, so when you get this part, you want to make a very cute look like this, like that, little circle like that, and then make another ribbon just like that. And then you want to make like a little bow. Just like that. It doesn't look that great when, with pencil, but what can I do? I can't find my liquid liner. I'm glad I'm doing more videos now because I didn't have time because there are a lot of tests for school coming up. And they weren't, I got a good grade on it, but I wasn't very happy with all the time I had to spend on studying. I'm sure no kid likes that. I made an ugly line. Okay, so you just want to do that again, repeat it. I hope this looks much better than it did before. This is really annoying. Now, you can skip these little black things if you want, but that's just my little personality thing that I use for a little. I like to be different a lot. And then if you want to do, this is optional, you can redefine your brows to give it more of a sharp look if you want it, or if you need eyebrow defining. And then we're gonna complete it with some highlighter. Just using my good old Lancome highlighter. You could just use a cream one, which is better actually for this kind. I'm gonna put it under your eye like this. Over here like that. Then on the bridge of your nose. Because that looks really pretty. Then we're going to finish off with a blush. And I'm, I don't have a pink lip liner today, so I'm going to be using just some lip gloss to finish it off. Okay, found the blush. Exactly what you call a blush brush, but I left it in my bathroom. I'm really unorganized. I have so much cosmetics, I couldn't find the right brush. So just use any, you know, cheap brush or any blush that matches your cheeks. But you want to make this noticeable. You will put a lot of this because mine doesn't show and it uses this. So when you put on the blush, you want to squeeze it for more contour. You want to put squeeze it like this, and then you you don't want to go like that across your nose because then you're lucky you have a sunburn. You want to go from here straight up like that into the temples because that looks very pretty and you get long contour to this. Just get some brush some of the excess off. Okay. Doesn't look noticeable, I know, because this brush doesn't really pick up the thing. 
Okay, so I don't have my lip, my lip liner today. So, um, we're going to be using mascara, any mascara, and we're going to be finishing off with lipstick since I can't get my lip liner. I had the lipstick just a minute ago. Okay, I found it. Okay, so we're going to use the mascara. I almost forgot all about the mascara. Doesn't matter which mascara you use. Or how much you put on. I think these are awful bows the way I did it. But trust me, it'll look much better with liquid liner. It looks horrible with pencil liner. I don't blame you if you think it does. And I know my hair is a mess because that's what happens on weekdays. Weekends, sorry. Yep. So anyway, skip the... um pencil, lip pencil for now. I'm using my MAC one, and this is Lady Gaga's Viva Glam collection. See, it has Lady Gaga on it, it's her autograph on it, it's really cool. It's this little pink, very light pink. It's very light on camera. It smells like cupcakes. I like it a lot, but anyway. And there you have it. Affordable, sweet, seductive looking kind of Valentine's Day look. And I really hope you enjoy. Please, I'm really loving the requests. Please send the requests, the comments, everything that you have, and subscribe if you like the videos. Okay, thank you. Bye.